If you're excited for the new Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update part 1, you will know how much of an insane week this has been for all of us. Not only with us getting free pre-releases in like the span of a week, but also getting the release date for the final release of 1.17. That is why in this video everyone, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a look into the future, talking about the new Caves and Cliffs missing features information, including Skulk Sensors, the Bundle, the Deep dark and the ward and everyone so if you do go on to enjoy this video be sure you drop it a like and let me know down below in the comments what are you more excited for 1.17 or 1.18 but without wasting any more time everyone let's get right into the video so let's get right into it with the information i'm pretty sure you all know by now but just a bit of a refresher the caves and cliffs update was originally meant to be one full release 1.17 the caves and cliffs update whereas recent events and things going on behind the scenes over at Mojang made them have to make the unfortunate decision to split the update up into two it give us the blocks and the mobs in part one which is releasing on June the 8th this year and also give us part two which re is releasing sometime in the holiday season this left a lot of fans annoyed and pretty disappointed but not only that things also continued to get worse with the bundles the skulk sensor and for a short time the candles also being removed with the archaeology system being delayed indefinitely so just a quick list for all of you that may not know all of the features that have been delayed is the updated mount the updated caves, the deep dark biome, the lush caves biome, the dripstone caves biome, the warden, skull sensors, bundles and finally the archaeology system and of course let's not forget the goat horn. So all of these are the main things that have actually been delayed ranging from one singular item all the way to entire biomes. Now we do know a bit of information about some of these but first I want to talk about the most recent delays which is the bundles the goat horn I guess could count and of course the skull sensor now these were actually taken out of the game which is pretty interesting I do not think that anything like that has really happened before where we've got an item in a snapshot it's been pretty certain that we're gonna get it but then all of a sudden it has been removed if you did not know for the majority of the snapshots we actually had access to the skull sensor which has been there since some of the earliest snapshots and also the bundle which I believe was actually in one of the first but what's pretty strange is these were actually removed and they were not added back I know there's still some hope within um, some people that we will actually get these and they'll add them just before the release of the caves and cliffs update part one but I do think that that is like pretty uncertain and that is for many reasons first up the release is literally just below one week away as of when I'm recording this so the update is so so close and at this point even though they were already in the game and they're pretty alright and ready to be implemented I just think it's really unlikely at this point that Maljang would be throwing stuff out there maybe in like a later release of 1.16 or 1.17 I should say where they just add a few little changes maybe but at this point I just think it's so unlikely we should just set our focus to the future and just expect them to release in 1.18 also I think people are forgetting this but we are literally in the pre-releases now and I know Maljang have made some exceptions to this in the past but the definition is of a pre-release is it's a snapshot where it's basically like one of the final releases all that's changed about it is bug fixes and that is what they expect the final release to be like so I really think that the chances of us seeing the bundle and the skull center at this point in 1.17 are extremely unlikely when do i think we'll see them at this point i think we can expect them around 1.18 whether it be in the very early snapshots or the later stages i do not know why mojang actually removed them in the first place it is still a bit of a mystery to me i do not understand fully 
I can only imagine it's because Mahjong were unhappy with how they were in the game. Like, I know there was a lot of speculation around the bundle and people were really not happy with the bundle and some people loved it, some people really didn't. But there's one thing for certain, the bundle needed some changes. So that's only why I assume Mahjong removed the bundle and the Skulk sensor. There's still quite a bit of work to be done, I believe, for both of those features. But while we're talking about removed features and missing features let's talk about the archaeology system something a lot of us had our hopes set high for it's one of those things that's pretty new to minecraft and at first it might be underappreciated and not many people will really looking at it excited whereas when it actually releases it's one of those features that people actually realize how important it really is and that's what the archaeology system was it would not only add dig sites and these kind of artifacts and um, ceramic shards but it would also add the brush which would allow players to brush down blocks and find rare loot inside for example the diamond block or an emerald block or even ceramic shards themselves which can be used to craft custom pots in the game which is definitely very cool but the reason I believe this was removed is pretty straightforward and that's because even Maojang themselves said that at the moment it, they just wanted to make it feel a bit more minecrafty whatever that's meant to mean so I do not know if they just need to correct how it works or they're just rethinking the whole idea I really do not know but over the past few months we've saw a focus from Mojang where they want to kind of make it harder for players to get loot and they want to make it so that players feel rewarded and happy and excited when they find rare loot but the archaeology system would go directly against that whereas it would be a lot easier for players to find high-end loot like a diamond block and it just kind of ruined the whole experience I think so that's why I believe Maljang actually delayed this indefinitely by the way we do actually know that the archaeology system has been delayed indefinitely that does not specifically mean it will release after 1.18 but it just means that there's no clear release date or release window yet so it seems like Maljang have just kind of pushed it to the side and they do not really know what they want to do with it right now uh, well that's the idea many of us get anyway but I guess uh, it could release be before 1 to 18 or even as a part of 1 to 18 but at this point I would not be surprised at all if it just releases in like 2022 which would be pretty crazy and may seem a bit extreme but it's definitely a very likely outcome at this point but let me know what you think everyone which delayed feature are you most excited for let's not forget finally the goat horn this is something that for some reason I've been really like excited for like ever since I saw it and I heard all the speculation of it being able to summon a raid like that's pretty crazy and for some reason I've just been like crazily excited for this item and it like it's literally in the bedrock beta but it's not in a snapshot yet I might actually do a video about this I've been thinking about it but I saw like so many tweets about how parity has actually been ruined by this update so I might do a video about that but that's it for this one everyone thanks for watching hope you enjoyed let me know what you're most excited for but i'll see you all tomorrow for another video goodbye